Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about what it means to calculate an inverse function. So first of all, to find the inverse of a relation, that simply means to just switch the x and y values. We don't change any signs, we don't do anything else but just switch the order. So if I have 2, negative 3, the inverse would simply be negative 3, 2. You just switch the x and the y. That's how simple it actually is. So if I gave you these functions here, or these relations rather, and I said calculate the inverse, the inverse here would be 4, 3, negative 2, 1, negative 1, negative 5. The second inverse here for this new function relation rather would be negative 2, 0, 4, negative 1, and then negative 2, negative 2. If the x and y values are the same, then it's just its own inverse. If I said to you calculate the inverse of a table, that's just another way to read a set of ordered pairs. So again, I'm just flipping the x and y values. And that's all you need to be able to do if I give you a relation and I ask you to calculate the inverse of it. So now the second thing we need to learn how to do is graph an inverse function. So if I gave you this black solid line here and I asked you to calculate the inverse of it or graph it, you would want to find a couple ordered pairs that you know for a factor on this line. So 0, 3, and 3, 2. Okay, 0, 3, and 3, 2. Well, if calculating an inverse simply means to just flip the x and y values, and I go ahead and I plot those points at 3, 0, 2, 3, and again, my line is already there for us to see, that's what the inverse of a function would look like. You would find a couple points that you know for a factor on that line, flip them, and then graph that new line. Now, something really special about an inverse function is that it is symmetric about the line y equals x. So I'm going to show you, if I was to draw this line of y equals x, it's actually a line of symmetry. That graph just is reflected directly over it. So let's take a look at the next one here. This graph, and I know my, my inverse is already drawn for us, but you'll see exactly where it comes from. If I was looking at this graph here, I would see points of negative 3, 1, 0, 2, and 3, 3. I can continue that pattern, of course, and figure out a new term. The inverse would simply be to flip the x and y values. And the flipped x and y values are these points here. They share 3, 3. It's the same line. And that's it. That would actually be the graph of my inverse. I don't like that line, so I'm just going to switch it up. Oh, geez. Terrible line. I'm going to just get rid of that altogether. So what do you notice about the graphs? They are symmetrical to the line y equals x. So again, it's one of those things where if I draw y equals x, I'm going to see that this graph, if it, I reflected it over that line, would be this line here. The last thing I want to show you is the steps for creating an equation of an inverse function. Um, there's, it's a four-step process. So follow along with me here. It says steps for writing the inverse function. First step, if I want to take this function here and write the inverse equation, the equation that would actually be the line of that new inverse that we graphed, you first replace f of x with y. I'm actually going to do these two problems side by side. So first step is replace f of x with y. Second step is to switch the x and y value. So notice from this equation, now if I switch the x and y value, here, notice I'm going to just switch x and y. The numbers, other numbers just stayed the same. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve for y. So solve for y we know means to get y by itself. So if I wanted to get this y by itself, I would need to add 2 on both sides and then divide both sides by 4. Okay. Over here, if I wanted to get y by itself, I'd have to subtract 5 on both sides and then divide both sides by negative 3. Now the very last step is to then replace this y with the inverse function notation, which looks like f to the negative 1 power of x. That's it. So the inverse function, that's how you would read this. The inverse function is 1 fourth x plus 1 half. Over here, I would say the inverse function is negative 1 third x plus 5 thirds. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.